brand new street and brand new me. Side by side, by friends I need. Don't you tell me that you're in town? I already know. Couple days ago. Hey, now that our names are written in stone, let's be honest. Sounds like home. Good morning guys. I am so excited. Today is officially the day we are going to put the chicken coop together. My husband was kind enough to put all my little tools out for me. And here's everything. I'm going with the same company I did their other coop, the Avi Tubin. I just think they have the best quality of all chicken coops. Let's say hi to the girls. Hey girls. What's going on? One, two, three, four, five, six. Who am I missing? Is Lucy not in there? Loose. She's got to be in there somewhere. She usually is the only one that gets out. A little stinker. Huh. Where's Lucy? Lucy! Okay. Um, she might be in the other coop right now. Alright, anyway. So, we are going to get everything set to build their coop. And it's going to be a very exciting day. Once we get that done, we are going to take this net and move it to this side so we can move the chickens over, which is like the best. There's a Lucy girl. Loose. How'd you, we call her Lucy because she always gets out. She's been out for like a week. Hi, Lucy. Hi, baby. Come here, baby. All right, let's go feed the chickens and then we'll get to work. Come on. Hi, baby. Precious eggs, bless you. Okay, here's one more. Hi, Lucy. Lucy! Chicka booms! Okay, anyway, we're back. Lucy got herself in, I just didn't count her properly. You wanna say hi to Enzo? Meat! Tuna. Um, so here are all the essentials. I don't know if you guys have tried this, but I ordered it in my last Thrive box that came. It is so good. Um, kind of reminds me of cream soda, but it's really yummy. Got some music. Got all my tools. I'm going to cut the boxes open and start to lay out all the pieces. Um, <clears throat> that always helped me last time. Just to kind of like organize everything. And then we'll get building. Still on your loan and I'm calling your phone. I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could dream about somebody else I wish I could talk when the silence is so loud I wish, oh I wish I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could do something that would make sense I wish I would know what you're thinking the first thing I wanted to do after we kind of decided we were going to do the garden is I wanted to relocate where the chickens are and they needed a new coop because the red one from the old house could not fit through any of the doorways uh, on this property. It would have to go over the fence and we would have needed a small crane to do that. And I, frankly, it was a great chicken coop. I loved it, but it was kind of old and I really loved the quality from the Avi Tuvin uh, chicken coop we had for Blanca's babies. So I ended up going with them again. If you you guys aren't familiar with Avi Tubin, they make luxury real estate for your furry friends. They have everything from rabbit hutches, chicken coops, cat houses, hamster cages, guinea pig cages, turtle habitats, bird cages, indoor, outdoor, really they have everything and the quality of their items are incredible. I love that they have eight warehouses in the US so I was able to get this in two days. I needed to get it done before we I left for Mexico. Couple things you want to think about if you are going to be getting a chicken coop 
scoop. One, make sure that it is made of fir wood and coated in eco-friendly water-based paint so it is completely safe for all of your animals. These cages are very easy to assemble. It comes with a very great manual. Screws were marked with plastic bags so I knew exactly which one I needed to use. I didn't have to like measure it on the actual manual this was really simple to do and everything is pre-drilled so all i had to do was open the manual grab the screws that i needed and then start to assemble I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys over on my Instagram. I share my chickens over there all the time that you are going to be getting chickens. So if you do, I highly recommend getting the Avi Tuvin uh, chicken coops. They are incredible. The construction is beautiful. They're very durable. And I just think aesthetically, they're really beautiful as well. So definitely check down in the uh, description box down below. I have a link there. You guys can just head over and pick out the exact type of coop that you want. I will also link this specific coop that I got. I absolutely love this. I think it's very cute. It looks like a little barn and it has two different entrances for the chickens. We have seven chickens and this was the perfect size for us. This uh, coop also has a couple of features that I also really liked about it. I like at the very top, it creates a nice little area for me to open up in the summertime so it doesn't get too hot in here. A lot of times your coops can get hot. This will be in a shaded area, but I wanted to go ahead and get something that gave it some really, really good cross breeze. So that is one of the reasons I love this one. The other thing I love about it is it has three uh, nesting bays, which again, we have seven chickens. They don't all nest at the same time, but I want to make sure we had enough nesting boxes so all the chickens can lay eggs. We have always had just three, so um, this one has three as well. A really easy door uh, that I can just open up that has a weather strip so I can grab the eggs without having to go um, around the entire coop like our old one. And again, we still have the other Avi Tuvin coop on the other side, so if the chickens want to separate or go over there, they totally can do that too. Let's be honest, sounds like home Still I'm here alone and I'm calling your phone I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could dream about somebody else I wish I could talk when the silence so loud I wish, oh Guys, it's all done. That took me about an hour. Here are the chicken bays. These are great to pick the eggs up. 
and it also locks we probably would never lock it but if you guys um, need to lock it you can I love the weather stripping this product comes with we have um, again the same one over here just smaller and uh, it's just incredible quality but inside we have two um, roosting bars which we have seven chickens this is more than enough for them and then down here this tray comes out so we can clean it once a week and then I like that they have nice air circulation up there. Um, if you guys want. Enzo, are you loving it? You having a good day? Yeah. Sweet girl, she loves it. These up, which are great. They're the, um, like if you live in a space where you don't have a free range area for chickens, you just attach those on here. Are you girls getting excited? I know, say hi. They're so ready to get out of here. Pump. Hi Blanca. Hi Blanca. No, it's a little warm today. I thought it was gonna be a breezy, but it's nice. It might be a good pool day. Enzo. You wanna say hi? Wanna get some lobbies? Oh, she's so sweet. So yeah. This is great. So if you have that big um, net, you can just pull this aside, let the chickens out in the morning, keep them in there at night. That's what we did at our downtown house. Um, but now we don't need to do that. And then you have another entrance here for them so they can free range. I'll show you guys where this is going to go real quick. We still have Easter eggs everywhere. So this is my other one that I have. So it matches that. So this big one I'm thinking is going to go like right over here. Sorry. Like right here. That way they've got this whole area. It's nice and shaded. I love these trees so they can perch on these and enjoy them as well. I'm not sure we may move this one over to here and the big one over to there. I'm not totally sure yet, but I got the same color. That way everything matched and it looks beautiful. We also built a door over here which will get um, a net on it as well. So from my garden, I'll be able to just come through here to get their eggs and stuff. Hi girls. So once we get that done, we're gonna totally clean this backyard. I wanna build a couple more garden beds as well. Um, clean this whole area up here. It needs to get clean since the chickens were here. So I was gonna build like strawberries over here and um, just do a little bit more with this area, clean all that out. I might remove these bushes too because I don't totally, I don't totally need them, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna be putting some very large citrus, potted citrus plants in here, so we'll have more of that, but um, for the most part, it's all coming together, hoping that they don't like rosemary. Otherwise I'll have to remove the rosemary bush. But yeah, that's, this is the project we have today. So as soon as my husband gets back, so, uh, as soon as he gets back, we'll um, we'll move this big daddy in. We'll probably end up just sliding it through this area here. I think that should be plenty of room there, but we will see. So now that we have it into place, I want to add some shavings in here and introduce all the chickens. They absolutely love this coop so much. We ended up putting it on top of the um, little free range area, but we ended up changing that later in this video, which you'll see. I thought maybe it'd be nice if they had two areas where they could roost, but they ended up, um, it just felt a little shaky and that's not how it was built to um to be so we ended up taking it down the next day but um, in a minute I'll show you how the chickens all settle in. Oh, <laughs> 
absolutely love watching chickens. I love how everyone's trying out the bays and the roosting bar. I love that Salty has made herself comfortable over here in the doorway, just checking it all out. Uh, they are super happy in here. Everybody, good morning, Salt. How are you, Pumpkin? How are you, Pumpkin Spice? Hi, Pepper. All right, let's take a look. Here, you guys come in here for your eggs. Oh, we got somebody laying an egg right now. Hi, Coco. Me, you guys hungry? Guys, I was stressing. I was stressing. I was nervous, like something happened, and and I was gonna like find her, like. So here's our other obby tube, and she must. Oh yeah, she was laying eggs in there. I got one. I'll leave it there so the other chickens know that's where they go. But we finally got the net all put up in here, so they're really, really safe. And the coop is looking beautiful. Look how happy these guys are. You guys are so cute. Coco Me's in there eating away, so anyway, so cute. All right, we're all done out here. Next thing I need to do is start working on the garden. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and joining me to get the chicken coop all put together. I am so excited for so much more. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video real soon. Bye.